Hey there, Sharon Hornelson Day. Sharon Hornelson. I'm Sharon Hornelson every day, also known as Pajama Grandma. I am really busy today. I'm getting busy. I'm actually right now, as we speak, adding the page to the funnel for the Women's Summit to shut it down and actually not shut it down, make it so people can pre-sign up and, and get a special offer, but also so that they can't get access to all of the live interviews. I left them up all weekend, so... If there were a few industrious women that snuck in and listened to them like I did, I've been listening to them all weekend. I, uh, I'm, I've still got like another 14 or 15 interviews to re-listen to as I put together other pieces for the project. The summary, the checklists, incredible. I've already got an entire notebook full of notes from these amazing women. And I was on the summits, but I couldn't take notes when I was asking questions. So I'm going back through and I'm listening because I want to create some products that go along with this for people to get more value out of the speakers and out of the summit. Incredible. Amazing the things that we've covered. But I also need to shut it down and promote over the next two weeks. So I need to get the page in place on the funnel that directs people to that so they don't get access to all of the speakers and all of the things that are in the rest of the funnel right now. So you have to do this, some of this stuff you have to do behind the scenes creatively and and turn things on and off different days to make them visible and invisible based on how you're rolling out the particular product launch or product. So I'm working on that technical thing right now because I'm also going to start babysitting my three-year-old granddaughter today. So all of you women business owners who think that I can't relate because I don't have small children in the house, guess what? I'm going to have a small children in the house and I'm going to be building my business as I have a small child underfoot and not underfoot, but with me, spending the days with me. And I'm really excited about it because I think she's going to add an element of energy and excitement and curiosity that, you know, somebody my age maybe has lost a lot of that. Now, I did spend a year with her when I was running my Italian food business. And I figure if I can run an Italian food business, manufacturing business, and have a an infant, I can probably figure out how to do an online business and a toddler. So we'll see over the next few weeks as I roll out the Women's Summit because now we're stopping the test mode and doing the promotion. I'm going into promotion mode. Now, I worked on a little bit, but I don't have all my emails written. I don't have my onboarding sequences written. I don't have um, the, the framework for, I've got the framework written out, but I don't have it in the membership area for the thing that comes after the Women's Summit. Once it's delivered the 19th, 20th, and 21st, then we'll have a couple of days off and I'm launching into a secret that it's a challenge for a 30-day customer challenge for actually implementing and putting in place for your business the things that we learn on the summit and much, much more. How to create a framework for your customers. For I call it customer handling, but customer relations, customer interactions, customer experience, whatever you want to call it. If you put a framework in and if you put a couple little systems in place that will grow with you, then you've automated a lot of the processes that will ensure that you always have a steady stream of customers coming in. And then once they come in, having a great experience and what they have to say, have a great experience, how you nurture and grow that experience and how you create and serve them to the point where they become lifelong raving fans of yours and they go out and sell your business for you because they're telling everybody about what a great experience they've had with you. That's the ultimate goal, at least for me and for a lot of other women that I've interviewed for the summit is to have systems in place that handle that the hard, heavy lifting, repetitive things for you so that you can have that personal contact because it's a balance between the social media and the outsource things and the personal contact. People want to have contact with you if you set it up right and the more contact they have and the more money they'll pay for that. Not that we want to just charge people to have contact with us, but because we can serve them at a much deeper level if we are devoting our time and energy to them. Again, totally different topic. But I just wanted to pop on and say I'm about to get really busy and I'll, I'm going to figure it out. I always figure it out, but it'll be interesting. And so it'll just add a whole new element to this wild ride of transitioning from offline brick and mortar world to the online world of business. So watch me. Hopefully I won't crash and burn. We'll see what happens going forward. But I want to quick get this funnel taken down so that I'm not just giving it all away for free because it's going to all get given away for free on the 19th, but I want to roll it out in a way that makes sense. I want to practice and do what I've been taught to do 
and demonstrate for other people how they can do it too. All right. Have an awesome day. I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye.